We start with the puzzle. When a ball falls to earth, it is gaining momentum. But according to the principle of conservation of momentum, the total cannot change. How can we explain this? Welcome to this Nothing Nerdy lesson on conservation of linear momentum. Here is a statement from the IB Physics Guide. You must know what momentum is and understand that it is a quantity which always stays the same when moving bodies are interacting, that is, exerting forces on each other. You must also understand the meaning of the term isolated system. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Linear momentum is a quantity which tells us about the motion of an object. We call it linear momentum to distinguish it from angular momentum, but we can call it just momentum. That always means linear. You can think of it as a measure of how difficult it would be to stop the object moving. Two variables are important, the mass of the body and its velocity. Here is the definition of momentum. Product means two quantities are multiplied together. Here, that is mass and velocity. Since velocity is a vector, then so is momentum, and it has the same direction as the velocity. It's measured in the unit of mass multiplied by the unit of velocity, kilogram meters per second. Here is the formula for calculating the momentum vector. A lowercase letter p is the symbol for momentum. Here it is underlined to show it's a vector. M is the mass in kilograms, which is a scalar, and V is the velocity vector in meters per second with the same direction as the momentum. This bowling ball of mass 5 kilograms has a velocity of 8 meters per second to the right, so its momentum is 40 kilogram meters per second, and it's directed to the right. We're going to learn a very important law in the physics of motion. It applies to what we call an isolated system of objects. There are no external forces acting on the system. This means that all of the forces in the system act on the objects within it. No real system is perfectly isolated, but we find that many are very close to being isolated. The reason that we're interested in momentum is because of this very important principle, which allows us to make calculations about interacting objects. It applies to an isolated system which, as we have just heard, has no external forces exerted on it. The principle says that the total momentum in an isolated system is constant. For example, the momentum in the bowling ball before it hits the pins is equal to the momentum in the ball and all of the pins afterwards. Another way to say this is that the change in total momentum is zero. A good way to make calculations using the principle of conservation of momentum is to equate the momentum before the collision with the momentum after it. Here is an example. The ball transfers some of its momentum to the pin and in so doing it slows down from 8 to 5.9 meters per second. Their masses are 5 kilograms and 1.4 kilograms. We approach the question as a before and after situation. Then we sketch the situation with the relevant variables included, the masses of the objects and the velocities that we know. We calculate the momentum on each side before the collision and after it. And finally, with one missing variable, we can use the formula to solve for V. It's 7.5 meters per second, and the pin travels in the same direction as the ball was traveling. The man has a mass of 90, and the rock has a mass of 3, and we know the velocity of the rock is 6, the velocity of the man is V. When we substitute that into the equation, we get that V is 0 0.2. And so we know that 0 0.2 is the recoil speed of the man, and we know that the total momentum of the system is 0 at the start, and so 0 at the end because it's standing still, and therefore the answer must be A. The answer to this puzzle is that since the force acting on the object is due to the Earth's gravitational attraction, the Earth must be considered to be part of the isolated system. 
Before the ball started to fall, the total momentum of the system was zero, so it must remain zero. As the ball gains momentum downwards, the Earth will gain equal and opposite momentum upwards. But because it has an enormous mass, the velocity it moves upwards with is very, very small. So during the fall of the ball, the Earth moves a fraction of the width of an atom. Thank you.